Thank you, Uta and Greta. This is Margot speaking from Canada. Once the platform stabilized, it seemed that the pain in the personality was blocking a lot of soul infusion. <clears throat> <clears throat> As we sat in silence, openings occurred and soul began to be integrated in various areas of the land. Patterns began to emerge. Then a network of patterns linked by the light of reconciliation and respect. Observing the mental field, it initially appeared tight, tired, and then beginning to register soul contact. Random flowerings of light and clarity kept growing. There were some stronger points of densification and the more they were entrenched, the more they began to collapse. And then a point of light would begin to appear and increase. All across the nation, lights were flashing on and off and on again, becoming steadier. Observing the mental or rather the emotional field, there seemed to be something I, I can only name as growing patience. I'm not quite sure I'll, how else yeah. to say it. And in the physical etheric, a deep, vast, intelligent order. Hmm. Thank you, Margot. Um, here in your sharing, uh, there is one um, point quite clearly expressed. It's one thing to see what is already there and another to see a possible transmuting process. So we have both intertwined and both are um, very valuable. And with uh, when we do it again and again, this observation, then we can see uh, if these patterns that you said that emerged if these are momentary patterns or if it's something that we first only see the general outline of something and then with repeated uh, observation, it gains more substance and more detail. And uh, yeah, beautiful, thank you. Anyone who would like to share, uh, just unmute yourself. I think I see here, Ditte. Yeah, please raise your hands and we will unmute you. Karen, you are unmuted. Please unmute yourself. Okay, thank you. What I observed was 
the difference in energy flow from north from the um, east coast to the west from the United States um, from the east coast and the west coast and it seemed like um, energetically there was just more energy or more connections like synapses on the east and west coast and then the energy seemed to flow you know I, I can't describe this very well but from the east and west coast circulating through the center of the country you know in it in this in a vortex where it kind of gets clogged and you know as it moves down and and recirculates that was um the mental what when we were focusing on the mental field and um see there seemed to be more resonance also between east and west coast electric energy there was a denseness i mean a difference in density too in just the um the country there was there seemed to be more density um in the center and in the in the south J just seemed like kind of clouds um mm -hmm. but when it came to the emotional field i saw eruptions everywhere <laughs> it didn't seem there didn't seem to be as much differentiation um there just seemed to be everywhere and and then in the etheric uh, i was thinking afterwards well was i focused in the beginning on the etheric or the or the mental so but um anyway those were my impressions hmm, hmm. It's quite different when we when we give our felt sense the stage and when we can get such uh, such impressions and uh, leave them open to develop um, a much deeper understanding often can be uh, can can develop in us than what only our concrete mind can come up with through information that we get. Um, yeah, find this very valuable. Jeffrey, please unmute yourself. Oh, yes, the United States. when it felt a little like a person waking up after a long binge of alcohol or drugs <laughs> and realize looking in the mirror and saying oh this is not me i've been drunk on materialism on selfishness i've lost track lost sight of the true values and then that you know the the values of freedom and individual freedom were not balanced by responsibility. The values of a just legal system were not balanced by true justice, but were tainted by self-interest. The, and then, the effects a glimpse to the astral showed the effects of this misuse of force the 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 battles the outrage the the self-interested um noise of you know groups trying to rile up other groups in order to get what they want in order to satisfy their material goals or their power goals and then looking to the 
etheric physical I saw decay I saw misuse I saw a lack of maintenance and how we've let our physical body deteriorate because our minds were not wholesome, not balanced. So, and this is a time where we rub our eyes, we take a shower, we get back to, we say, ah, oh, I'm gonna get my thing together and, and readjust, reorient, re move towards and looking out amongst the family of nations, I can see that the family, <laughs> look at it. <laughs> Hmm. They see the pain, they see the misuse, and they, they, they're rooting for us to get back. Hmm. So much work to do. I think, wow. thank you. Thank you, thank you, Jeffrey. Yeah. Wow, you showed two things very beautifully here. How, um, how the mental um, precipitates into the emotional, precipitates into into the physical, etheric, um, how this is all linked. And when we, when we use our esoteric sense, um, we, can, we can trace this, we can get a, an overview, which is so helpful now. And also I like very much, uh, you know, to your, your picture of uh, somebody woken up after being drunk also gives us a sense of a, of a timeline. A, a nation has a, such a completely different timeline than, uh, than an individual. So if we can see it as well, we, are, we have been drunk now and we just have to get ourselves together again. It's, it, there's a hopeful, uh, it's a hopeful picture. And thank you for, also for sharing the pain. Oh, I don't know. It just when I look to those other nations, suddenly overwhelmed. Mm. Thank you so much. Yeah. Standing with you, dear neighbor. <laughs> Santana, please unmute yourself. Um, no, I, I didn't feel the grief that Jeffrey's been expressing in this meditation, but I have been feeling it at times with everything that's been going on in the world, especially grief for the children. Um, but getting back to this meditation, because of where I was born and because of living in three different countries, I feel very connected to UK uh, and Canada and I now live in USA. So I had a triangle <clears throat> between the three nations and realized at the soul level, it was all one light, one soul. But as far as focusing on the different layers of the countries, I wasn't thinking. And I was seeing colors and shapes and that were often murky, but in all honesty, I couldn't know what I was seeing, but I felt a deep peace, magnetism, and alignment and connection 
with the group doing this meditation. So I wanted to thank you, Uta and Gerta, for the wonderful clarity of your of of clarifying the teachings and the alignments and the meditation. So mm. thank you. Mm. Thank you, Santana. Um, it's yes, what you said, magnetism, and um, don't remember the other things you said about the group. But this is really such a such an empowering thing to stand as a group, to do this as a group. Mm. Yeah. Thank you. And then we can bear it also more. You know, we have to have a lot of patience, perseverance um, uh, with all these colors and shapes that come up in the beginning. You know, we don't know what to do with them. And sometimes it can be overwhelming. So it's really uh, very, very helpful to be in the, in the safety of a group doing this. I just want to echo everyone's uh, appreciation of the beauty and the alignment in the meditation and share a few of my observations. Initially, it was from a very, um, truly a point of the observer. And in looking at the nation, immediately the uh, the glamours, the fogs that are enveloping much of the nation were apparent. And then in moving into that more deeply to penetrate into what the Ajna Center of the United States may become, what came through is uh, first to look for the right eye and the left eye. And in that moment, what rose to the mind was uh, the sort of Seattle area on the Pacific Ocean and the Boston area on the Atlantic Ocean. And the need to uh, do something we do in the healing process of um, envisioning triangles of light above the right eye and the left eye. And in envisioning those colors, the rose and gold for the right eye and the green and orange for the left eye, and bringing that together up to the Ajna Center, the Ajna Center appeared what could potentially be developing around, um, you know, ge geographically, it looked more like the Minneapolis-St. Paul area as eventually an opening for the light in the Ajna Center of the United States. I also um, experienced some um, guidance to look at the other 21 uh, secondary centers in the nation. Uh, and I'm going to uh, do some more uh, meditation, contemplation of those other centers, because when that thought came, other points in the country came to the fore in terms of um, Maya and potentially some leftover uh, unresolved issues from Atlantean times. I, I understand that the United States uh, is linked to Atlantean times and the um, need to elevate the indigenous uh, wisdom from the country, from the, the, the earth itself in this part of the world, which is very connected through our indigenous uh, native tribes and nations and um, also what came through was some, the influence of uh, the countries that uh, explored the, you know, the, the links to these other nations. But in that, finally, what came was a triangle of support. And I really want to thank you, Savannah, for mentioning that because the triangle of support for the United Nations and its development was, what came was Italy and Japan. And I, don't have any idea why that is, but those were um, two nations. I'm going to look at their um, mottos and look at their race structure and um, envision 
how that triangle can really assist this nation in developing um, the Ajna Center and to open the heart. Mm -hmm. Lots of uh, areas of research, huh? all these things we will, yeah, we will have to explore. Thank you, Joe. Maria Cristina. Oh, so much, such richness and such appreciation for, I just have to once again say for the group work, positioning and very specifically the technical positioning of the Ajna Center, an area that is often felt, but somehow I had envisioned the Ajna Center a little forward and I have great appreciation of that and the group because right at that point I will add a personal note, uh, something called trigeminal neuralgia stems, which lights up in pain and I believe due to much, much alleviated, but due originally to lack of sufficient group integration and fusion. So truly appreciative of the group field. Um, the United States, so such a large country. Um, so many of us here, what Joe just noted in relation to the St. Minneapolis, uh, which is she kind of positioned between the east and the west coast. We, a uh, little triangle has been working and from the somehow beginning visualized um, the tributary waters of the Missouri and the Mississippi I mean, the big rivers and the tributaries, and then flowing throughout, it has become part of our, our visualization. You know, like grounding trees will grounding and flooding through the emotional and physical waters, cleansing waters flowing out. Um, it does, it just, a map shows all the way through underneath the Washington Monument, which also feeds into the waters. And it's a very powerful image that I would share. I could keep going, but um, another time perhaps. The flags, can I just say when linking with the flags, the flags of the nations uh, became, continue to come to mind. Yeah. I will, um, I will stop. Thank you, Maria Cristina, for bringing this, the flags, yes. I also think um, that uh, that will be a very fruitful uh, area of research. And also what you mentioned, the, the rivers, the water, uh, would say in general, you know, the nature of a country um, of, uh, is also a very important aspect in the okay. health. Well, the yeah. flags gathered at New York, you know, the United Nations yeah. flag, with all the flags, I light the way. Yeah. And, and visualizing flags fluttering. Throughout our country and many countries as power points of distribution. Mm -hmm. Thanks. Also what you said, the technical positioning of the Ajna, there's a lot to be said about this. Maybe we go at a, at a later stage a bit deeper into it. But uh, today just to use the, the Vesak uh, ambience to uh, experientially explore this a bit deeper.
Rosita, please. Hello, this is Rosita from Britain. Um, I had a sense on the mental level of the strong um, will of the people. Um, we are very focused on government, I feel, at the moment. We are coming out of lockdown into a more normal life and um, the focus on the government is rigorous. It's like the will of the people is so strong to keep the government on its toes and uh, responsibility was the word I got. Um, also that we have a lack of that is the focus in the country, but we have a lack of sense of ideals. The only ideal I could kind of touch was um, the equality of all the races, which is an ongoing um, exploration that's happening in Britain at the moment, and an expansion of what it means to be British by including those who've been excluded. Um, so on the emotional level, um, anger. Anger seems to underlie a lot of different things that happen in this country. Again, very focused on the government. Um, I felt a lot of uncertainty it's, uh, and bewilderment because of the shock of the pandemic. Um, and the anger kind of joins with a generalized sense of resentment. Um, why hasn't something better been done and why weren't we protected and why did we have to go through this? So. Um, Yes, that was kind of a muddy area um, where the mental level was so clear and focused. On the physical level, we are coming into spring. We have in Britain very beautiful springs, but this is a strange one. It's a very cold. We have cold sunshine and no rain and this sense of the return of the light, uh, which kind of represents hope in a small way, um, but it's an unusual and a strange um, spring. So this kind of, this sense of awakening, which is to do with nature, but it also goes much deeper uh, to an awakening coming out of lockdown and awakening to this expectation or this opening to something new that's coming that cannot be defined. Mm. Thank you, Rosita. Um, all these findings, it is very helpful to uh, to note them down, to record them, and to compare from one session to another of, of, um, of, of observation and see what consolidates and what is only momentary. This is how we, we build up more and more towards a completed point of view. Um, you have described it very beautifully on all the levels your impressions. Thank you. Uh, Kim, please unmute yourself. Yeah, I'm sorry, just one moment. Um, too many windows open. Um, I feel like I didn't get uh, anything particularly astounding. I'm in New Zealand. Um, in the mental, I felt like a bit of a head in the sand and unawareness 
in general, in the general population, and some confusion, emotionally, some fear and some worry. And a lot of this, it, it felt like it was around the, the vaccine. And physically, we have a, uh, there's a saying here in, in New Zealand, she'll be all right. <laughs> Um, New Zealanders, I think they tend to be fairly sturdy and robust. Uh, so that was what I saw physically, physically, and that was all I got. Hmm. Hmm. Very synthetic report. <laughs> Thank you, Kim. With several comments, questions shared that I were posted in the chat. Mm -hmm. Question from Betty: uh, Living in the U Florida, U.S., does this have an effect on our insight? I also felt a deep sorrow for humanity. Rick, I had to leave the webinar. I guess it's a very late at night in Japan. Thank mm -hmm. you for the full meditation time. I'll log out now and go back to sleep for tomorrow. Arigato and happy Vesak from Tokyo. And Karen wrote, thank you for this very helpful meditation. Mm -hmm. I don't really understand what uh, the first question. What uh, does this have an effect on our insight? What? What have an effect on our insight? Um, Betty, if you would like to uh, say something, just raise your hand. We will unmute you, or if you want to write something. And another uh, comment from Deborah. Thank you for this beautiful ceremony. It's good to consolidate the work of the world group. Face and blessings to all. Hmm. Thank you. If there are any comments on the meditation itself, what, uh, uh, how, is the, how, how is the pace? Um, what works, what doesn't work, any feedback on the meditation itself. Also, what was difficult, what did not work is very helpful for us, either here or maybe if you want to do it in, uh, in an email. Yeah, I think it is, um, we are learning also as a group here to share in a way that is not overwhelming the group. Um, um, and we, we develop a trust and a courage to share also deep things, which are very valuable. Um, it's, it's a, yeah, a first-hand high-quality report of uh, um, of what's going on in the different countries, and I think this sharing that we that we do from all these different countries it it continues to um, how you say this um, to buzz to to vibrate the um, to make the, the, the strata of consciousness that deals with the soul of nations, the higher consciousness of nations, we keep it uh, bubbling, we, we make it come alive. And so it's, it's the Ajna center of the planet is being 
stimulated by it, and of course also the national Ajna centers. Betty wrote in the comment that she will address her question in the email. Uh, oh, okay. Well, I can okay. add um, one last sharing of the visualization. When um, visualizing the soul of the nation, imbuing the personality, and doing so i mean the soul of the nation as a as a blue solar angel for the united states we're told second ray so with that indigo blue visualizing and that as well as co-creating with the solar angel of our nation code that co-creation of the soul of the causal body that um, we are feeding little permanent atoms anyway mm -hmm. thank you there is one more raised hand uh jillian please unmute yourself uh yeah hello um, I was rather surprised uh, to find when Rosita gave her comments the similarities to how I felt. Um, predominantly I was thinking about the government um, and I think people in the mental area are wondering about the choices they made. On the emotional side I think there is anger and disappointment and uh, with the revelations being made and hope for something better and physically i think um people have been neglecting their physical care during the pandemic which well it's known that they have been and there is still poor physical health in quite a few people because of poverty so it's not a very um optimistic feelings mm -hmm. but uh, that was how I was feeling. Mm -hmm. Yeah, once the telepathy starts, once our our um, impressions um, gel more of the of the various uh, national workers and we and we get the sense that we are um, towards some some deeper understanding in the group in the group mind and then um, we begin to uh, not recognize to sense the the nation as an entity then then this this becomes much more plastic um, the mental uh, the mind and the heart of the of the nation. Thank you. Yeah, okay. There is one last comment that came from Dita. I say, and I just have the feeling of picture shared on the screen on several levels and blending the circles like waters to land deep in the ground on planet Earth. Thank you. Okay, that's it for today, it seems. There are links that uh, you see now on the screen, they're available in the chat. So 
So please copy them if you would like to get in touch with uh, uh, the group via UTA or would like to access uh, UTA's book. And the recording of this gathering as well as all other Creative Labs uh, webinars from the past available on uh, the 2025 initiatives YouTube channel or on our website. Okay, so let us close for today. Next one, next lab will be on the 25th of May. And this will be uh, uh, a second to the last in this cycle of Creative Lab. Right. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Uta, and thank you to the Hekal group and Clan Charlie group for holding this rhythm of our gatherings and this deep group tunement with the souls of the nation and understanding of our individual and group responsibility to become trained, practical Ajna Center of this beautiful planet. Thank you. And we continue holding our togetherness in this period of distribution of the Vesak impulse. Much love to everyone. Bye-bye.